Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. Before we get started, let's get today's shout-outs out of the way. Today's shout-outs, there's a twofer. Uh, shout-out goes to John Loeffler and Brian Evans. Both were first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus win a shout-out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with another review of... This is not a drone. <laughs> this is something different. This is the FXT DVR. It's a uh, digital video recorder for you... Uh, for recording of FPV video. What's special about it is that it records at 60 frames per second. Okay, most goggles, a lot of goggles come with or already with a built-in digital video recorder for recording your FPV flight when you're flying FPV racers. But that video is re usually recorded at 30 frames per second, which doesn't look very good. Uh, and Particularly the reason being is that uh, FPV video is normally transmitted as uh, over analog at uh, pretty low resolution. It's 720 by 576 for PAL or 720 by 480 pixel resolution for NTSC. Uh, that just does not look good at 30 frames per second, especially as you're yanking and backing real quickly with your FPV uh, drone, your FPV racer. To prove that, to you know, I've done many videos of uh, my FPV racers <laughs> that I've reviewed, and I always lamented that what I'm seeing on my FPV screen is nowhere near as clear, or is as much clearer than the video that I record with my goggles at 30 frames per second. I've always wished that they could come out with a better DVR. And FXT heard those requests, I guess from other people too, <laughs> I'm not the only one, and uh, came out with a 60 frames per second DVR. What this does is, folks, is it provides twice the amount of data that uh, you can see on your video. It should provide a much smoother image, okay, uh, especially when we're, you're doing uh, very high maneuverability. Now, with that in mind, let's go over the features of this 60 frames per second DVR. Again, I mentioned it records uh, capable of recording both in PAL and NTSC, and it automatically detects PAL or NTSC and automatically switches based on whatever uh, signal that it is uh, um, being inputted to it. Now, to, to get that input, it is available through an AV input jack that you uh, provide right there. It also has output if you want to AV output. Now this comes with uh, two different cables. Fortunately, unfortunately, I've misplaced one of them. <laughs> it's a um, 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter jack. That's designed for plugging into, say, Fat Shark goggles. Unfortunately, my I use FXT goggles, which uses a 2.5 millimeter jack, and I have to use this this AV cable that's also provided. And the way I do that is I use the provided FXT um, jack that comes with my FXT goggles and just plug this in yellow to yellow and red to red. Yellow is for video and red is for audio. And then I plug this into my FXT goggles to um, record or use the video from the FXT goggles and record them to this DVR. Other features on this include. Now, this is a shortcoming I think that uh, FXT should come up or provide with, but this is your um, input jack, your power input, and this is capable of using 7 to 28 volts, uh, which means you can use a 2S to a 6S battery with this, but they don't provide the plug for doing such. And what I had to do, folks, is I wanted to use a 2S battery. I had to find an old uh, power cable plug that would fit in this from this was from uh, an old uh, um, power input that I, I just cut off the cable from and uh, used this and then I soldered a wire onto a connector so that I could use a 2S battery with it so that's what I had to do folks to get power to this and again they don't provide the power input for this you're gonna have to do that yourself come up with your own and wire it up your own so that's a shortcoming in my opinion um, let's see, what are the things about it? You get this little clamp on here that you can clamp to, you know, uh, insert this in as such. And then you can clamp this to your goggles or to your shirt or your shirt pocket, whatever. But, uh, let's go over the other buttons on this particular DVR here. Uh, I went over these up here. On the side here is a little 
recording button. You press this, a quick press will start and stop the recording. Uh, on the bottom here, you have a slot for your micro SD card, and uh, you can use up to 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And a little switch here for turning Wi-Fi on and off. Now this uses can use a Wi-Fi app if you if you don't want to just press this button here. But uh, the Wi-Fi app comes in handy in that you're you'll be able to view what the DVR is seeing prior to you during your flight. So just to make sure that the uh, audio input or the video input to this is working correctly before you go and do the flight. Otherwise, if you just use the DVR only, you're blind <laughs> whether it's actually getting uh, input to the DVR. So um, it's called the FXT DVR app and available on Google Play and iTunes. And I'm going to try to demonstrate that here shortly for you. Uh, let's see, have, have I covered everything about it? That's about it. It's a basic DVR with 60 frames per second uh, capability. And this should provide uh, improved video no matter what drone you're flying with versus recording with your goggles. Uh, for today's flight, I am going to be flying with this particular drone. This has a 700 TVL camera on it. Not the best camera in the world, uh, but it should, uh, I should be able to show uh, the difference between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. I record both using my goggles and also using this DVR and then split, you know, show going back and forth between the two to show you the difference to make sure that you can clearly see that this should provide improved quality of the video. So let's take it out. Let's go for a flight of this particular little drone and see how it performs. But before we do, let me show you the app. Let's go into the app real quick. Okay, I have uh, this DVR hooked up to my phone, and the way you tell with it, you know, you have to hook it up through Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, and this blinking green light here will turn solid green when you're connected to your phone, and you have to go into your phone settings to um, connect this, you know, phone's Wi-Fi settings to connect this to your phone, and uh, you get a little blue light here showing whether you're recording or not. This will be blinking when it is recording this blue light. Now, I have the FXT DVR app. This is the FXT DVR app and I'm recording it via Google, uh, what do you call it, Mob is recording. And let me tap it and bring up the icons on the bottom here. And there's the icons and they don't want to stay on. There they are. <laughs> now in the bottom here you have settings and if we hit settings you get SD card settings, device settings, image settings, and about SD card just allows you to format the SD card, tells you what size of the SD card it is. And you can do an SD performance test too to make sure the SD card has enough speed for this uh, particular recorder. Uh, there's a device settings, and uh, I'm not sure what this does because every time I select it, there's nothing in there. Uh, image settings, you can uh, select loop recording. And right now I don't want loop recording. You can also set the recording length, and I got it set to 10 minutes, and then it'll uh, give it'll split the file at uh, 10 minutes. Uh, and about shows you what version of the app that I'm using, and we're gonna come back out of that. And uh, every time you come back out of this thing, it asks for permission again to to use it. Um, let me go back to this. <laughs> okay, now. In the bottom corner over the left here, um, it has files. You can view the files where they are recorded at, and uh, I'm not going to do that right now. And again, you have to, this is a bug in the app. Every time you come out of it, it asks you for permission. Um, also, for file sharing, you can uh, you do file sharing on this screen here, but I'm not really into sharing that on Facebook. Uh, the next one is recording, the center one here starts the, actually the recording on the DVR. Um, if you press it like so, it should, if I click on it, it should start recording, but it's not. Let me try that again. There we go. Recording has started, and you can see the blue light is now blinking. Again, you could also just manually start it by pressing quick press on this button here to manually start, start the DVR. And let's stop the recording light by pressing that again. And as you can see, the blue light has start, stopped. Now, you can also record to your phone. Uh, these last two ones uh, are recording uh, images or video and images to your phone. However, when recorded to your phone, it's at 30 frames per second, not at uh, 60 frames per second as per the DVR. So it's going to be reduced quality. So let's take this for a flight, take it out in the field, and fly it with this little Mobula 7. 
uh, and see how it performs. So hope you enjoy this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and we're going to try out that uh, 60 frames per second DVR today. Uh, to do such, this is the drone I've chosen. This is the Mobula 7. Uh, it's the, one of the fastest drones that I own, uh, but it only has a uh, mediocre 700 TV line camera on it. Okay. With that in mind, uh, being the fastest of my drones and with the so-so camera, we should be able to easily see the difference between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second recording. I will be recording both on, via my uh, uh, DVR goggles or my uh, FPV goggles and also be it records the 30 frames per second and I'll also be recording using the 60 frames per second DVR and I'll swap, swap back and forth to show the differences between the image quality of the video that we get. So let's go for a flight of this and sh uh, show how this DVR works. So let's go, let's go do it. Okay, we are ready to go. I started the recording already. I checked it via the app to make sure that the recording is recording. I'm gonna start recording on my uh, FXD goggles here. And get the recording there. And we should be getting ready to go. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how this DVR records. Uh, selecting acro and arming and take it to the air. Now for this flight, being the fast, this is one of my fastest little drones, I'm going to try to take it down low and fast. So we can compare. Let me get a feel for this too. I don't have my chair today, folks, and so I'm a little bit wonky on my feet here while doing this. <laughs> I'm not used to flying standing up. I really like to sit in a chair because I get vertigo. I'm always trying to hold on to me. Thanks, love. So we'll go down through the, the bushes as fast as I can. Not falling over here on my feet. Let's get a little Mobula 7. Pretty good plane. Let's take it up and try that. <laughs> So I hope this DVR is showing the difference in quality of footage that you can get at 60 frames per second. Oh, wonky on my feet trying to do this. I'll tell you what, let's go low and I'll make a large arc around the, the area. See me down here? I'm always holding me up. <laughs> so great little quad. I hope this DVR is coming out okay. Uh, what? Starting to watch the voltage here now. We're starting to get a little low. 2.30 volts. 60 frames versus 30. You know, all these. I've been doing lots of reviews of of uh, racers and that. And I always was disappointed with the quality of the uh, recorded FPV footage. And I'm hoping this shows that there is a difference. We'll find out here in, in post-production. And God, I missed my chair. <laughs> my, my knees are buckling under me as I make these turns. Tilting my body too. <laughs> so we're gonna call it quits here shortly. The wind's blowing from my left here, so let's bring it around from the left, or from, the wind's blowing from my right, so we got to come in this way. Hold me up, hold me up. <laughs> Close enough. So, let me disarm and stop the recording here on my goggles if I could find the button, and also stop the recording on my DVR by pressing, making sure that it's blinking, it's blinking, and a quick press will stop the recording. So that should have done it. So this is the, again, the uh, FXT uh, DVR, 60 frames per second. Pretty neat gadget if it works. We'll find out here. So I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. 
Hi, Quadcopter101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.